Did you know that Chicago is the birthplace of the skyscraper and home to 150 buildings going over 492 feet, including two of the 10 tallest in the US? And the city's skyline is about to be transformed once again with new super tall buildings from the completed Salesforce Tower, the newest addition, the 1000M, to the under construction 400 Lakeshore Drive and looking ahead to the future with projects set to reshape the skyline beyond 2030. Let's dive in and explore the past, present and future of the Windy City's magnificent skyline. Completed on June 13, 2024, 1000M is a mixed-use skyscraper located at 1000 South Michigan Avenue on the western edge of Grant Park in Chicago's South Loop. Designed by the late German-American architect Helmut Jahn, known for his work on the James R. Thompson Center, the building features a distinctive cylindrical shape that tapers outward as it rises with a rectangular base. Standing at 832 feet tall with 73 stories, 1000M is a prominent addition to the city's skyscrapers. The exterior showcases a mix of glass curtain walls and metal elements, creating a striking silhouette against the Chicago skyline. The building's foundation was constructed using caissons driven 87 feet below ground to reach bedrock, ensuring structural stability. Despite a halt during the pandemic in 2020, work resumed in 2022 and was recently completed. The project is a joint effort by developers JK Equities, Time Equities and Oak Capitals with McHugh Construction handling the construction work. 1000M is designed as a mixed-use development, incorporating 738 rental units ranging from studios to four-bedroom penthouses. The building also includes 23 affordable housing units, comprising studios, one-bedroom, two-bedroom and three-bedroom apartments. Among the many amenities are an indoor pool and spa, an outdoor pool deck, a game room, lounge areas, a fitness center and a 73rd floor sky deck with a bar and lounge. The base of the building houses a garage with 325 parking spaces and a 75,000 square foot amenity deck featuring common areas like a fitness center and lounge. The rooftop observation deck offers breathtaking views, serving as a major attraction. The building's integration with the surrounding area, including proximity to Grant Park and Lake Michigan, adds to its appeal, offering residents and visitors easy access to some of Chicago's most beloved outdoor spaces. The initial budget for 1000M was reported to be around $1 billion. However, due to the pandemic and other factors, the final cost likely exceeded this amount. Since the information is not public, we estimate that the final cost could range from $1.2 billion to $1.5 billion based on similar super tall buildings in Chicago, such as the St. Regis Chicago, which cost roughly $1 billion. 1000M marks the last project of the renowned architect Helmut Jahn, who tragically passed away in 2021 after being struck by a car while riding a bicycle. This building complements the urban assembly on Michigan Avenue at Randolph Street to the north, contributing to the area's high-rise density and architectural diversity. Right at the intersection of the Chicago River and Lake Michigan, 400 Lakeshore Drive is a new mixed-use development in the vibrant Streeterville neighborhood. Developed by Related Midwest and designed by Skidmore, Owings & Merrill SOM, this project features two residential towers that honor Chicago's architectural heritage. The design includes cascading terraces and angled facades, giving a modern look to the Chicago skyline. The northern tower will be 858 feet tall with 72 stories, while the southern tower will stand at 765 feet with 47 stories. The towers taper down to frame views of Lake Michigan, with metal detailing that reflects the rippling surface of the lake. The interiors were crafted by March and White, known for their work on other related properties. Construction began in 2022, starting with the North Tower. The site was previously home to the failed Chicago Spire project, which was cancelled during the Great Recession. The project uses the existing cofferdam from the Spire development. Building on the lakefront brings unique challenges like managing water levels and ensuring stability. To tackle these, the project uses advanced sustainable practices and innovative engineering solutions. 
400 Lakeshore Drive focuses on luxury apartments offering top-tier living spaces and amenities. There will be 635 rental apartments with 20%, 127 units, designated as affordable housing. Residents will enjoy outdoor pools, private terraces and a 75,000 square foot amenity deck. A two-storey podium will feature public art installations and communal spaces for residents and guests. The site will also include 4.5 acres of new public space like the long-awaited Disable Park and an extension of the Chicago Riverwalk accessible via Founders Way. This integration of public space enhances the living experience and adds significant green space for the community. The Northern Tower is expected to be completed in 2027. The project is financed by a collaboration involving the Illinois Housing Development Authority, Wells Fargo and other financial institutions. With an estimated cost for both towers of around $1.6 billion, the design of 400 Lakeshore Drive stands out with its Chicago window style and a mix of metal and glass facades, creating a snail-like shape. Each tower has expansive outdoor terraces offering breathtaking views of the lakefront, river and cityscape. Being close to Navy Pier adds to the appeal, giving residents easy access to one of Chicago's top entertainment and cultural spots. 400 Lakeshore Drive is a transformative project that connects downtown Chicago to the lakefront. It's the last undeveloped waterfront site where the Chicago River meets Lake Michigan. This project is part of Mayor Rahm Emanuel's vision to make Chicago a two-waterfront city by expanding the Chicago Riverwalk, contributing to the dynamic evolution of Chicago's urban landscape. Chicago's skyline is in a state of constant transformation, and there are three projects that perfectly represent this ongoing evolution. Let's compare and contrast these landmark developments. The Salesforce Tower, which marks the recent past, the 1000M symbolizing the present, and 400 Lakeshore Drive looking towards the future. Salesforce Tower. Rising at the historic Wolf Point site, the Salesforce Tower marked a significant milestone in 2023. Standing at 835 feet, 225 meters, with 57 floors, it serves as the regional headquarters for Salesforce. Developed by Heinz in partnership with the Kennedy family, the tower features a curved glass facade designed by Pelly Clark Pelly Architects. This design reflects the cityscape and river, creating a dynamic landmark. The tower's unique shape required innovative engineering solutions, including a diagrid structural system that minimizes the need for interior columns, maximizing usable space and offering unobstructed views. Key features include amenities like a fitness center, conference center and retail space, with the top two floors dedicated as Ohana floors for community events. The Salesforce Tower also boasts LED Platinum certification, incorporating high-performance glazing, rainwater harvesting and a green roof to emphasize energy efficiency and environmental responsibility. 1000M Completed in June 2024, 1000M now stands as one of the tallest buildings in Chicago. At 832 feet, 253.6 meters, with 73 floors, construction faced significant challenges, such as requiring a deep foundation to reach bedrock and installing a high-strength concrete core to withstand wind forces. Architecturally, 1000M's curved glass facade not only enhances its aesthetic appeal, but also maximizes natural light and offers expansive views of the city and Lake Michigan. The building is a mixed-use development featuring 738 rental units, including penthouses up to 3,000 square feet, and amenities like an indoor pool, outdoor deck, fitness center, and a 73rd floor sky deck, creating a vibrant community hub in the South Loop. 400 Lakeshore Drive Slated for completion in early 2027, 400 Lakeshore Drive will add two elegant towers to the lakefront. The North Tower will stand at 858 feet, 262 meters, with 72 floors, while the South Tower will reach 765 feet, 233 meters. Designed by Skidmore, Owings & Merrill SOM, and developed by Related Midwest, these towers feature cascading terraces and angled facades, making a striking visual statement. 
Building on the lakefront presents unique challenges such as managing water levels and soil conditions, requiring innovative engineering techniques to ensure structural stability and resilience. The project includes 635 rental apartments with 20% designated as affordable housing. Key features include 4.5 acres of new public space, an extension of the Chicago Riverwalk and amenities like outdoor pools, private terraces, fitness centres and lounges. The project aims for LEED Gold certification, incorporating energy efficient systems and green roofs. As we look at the stunning additions of Salesforce Tower, 1000 Dam and 400 Lakeshore Drive, it's clear that Chicago's skyline is in the midst of a remarkable transformation. Each of these buildings not only enhances the architectural beauty of the city, but also sets new standards in engineering and sustainability. However, the evolution of Chicago's skyline is far from over. Now, let's take a glimpse at the horizon with some of the most anticipated projects that promise to redefine the cityscape even further. Looking ahead to 2030 and beyond, several ambitious projects are set to further redefine Chicago's skyline. These developments, currently in various stages of planning and early construction, are expected to be fully completed after 2030. The Tribune East Tower is set to rise next to the historic Tribune Tower in downtown Chicago. At 1,422 feet tall, this project by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill will blend modern design with historical context. It will offer 439 rental units, 125 condos and 250 hotel rooms. Despite past delays, construction is now aimed for completion by 2027, promising to add a striking new icon to the skyline. Meanwhile, One Central is a massive 34-acre project near downtown Chicago that will complement the Tribune East Tower. Potentially soaring over 1,000 feet, One Central will include a transit hub along with residential, office and retail spaces, creating a vibrant urban centre. This ambitious project, however, faces challenges like extensive infrastructure needs and environmental concerns, which require careful planning for sustainable development. Adding to these developments are several other notable projects. For instance, the 78 at East Madison will bring a blend of residential and commercial spaces to East Madison, and the 400N Michigan Avenue redevelopment aims to revitalize the area around the historic Water Tower Place. These projects, along with the ongoing renovations and expansions at Union Station and the transformative developments at Lakeshore East, collectively contribute to the dynamic evolution of Chicago's urban landscape. Chicago's skyline is set for significant transformation, with over 30 high-rise projects in the works, including the aforementioned developments. These diverse projects reflect the city's commitment to growth and architectural innovation, each one playing a role in shaping the city's future skyline. However, the vision for Chicago's skyline faces potential hurdles. Financial constraints, regulatory approvals and environmental challenges could delay or halt some projects. Going through these complexities will require strategic planning and collaboration. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video about Chicago's ever-evolving skyline, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on the latest architectural marvels.